So we shall begin with the uh, excavating the 150 millimeters uh, depth of topsoil. Remember, we are told that the topsoil is 150 millimeters depth. So excavate away 150 millimeters. We need to measure this site. All right. When we are measuring for site clearance, remember we have to add the foundation spread. The foundation spread is this uh, spread this side. So if this one was 600, we shall deduct for the wall, which is 200. Then it remains with uh, 400. 400 divided by 2, we get 200. So from here to here, we shall add 200 all around the site. That one is for the uh, foundation spread so that we can add it to site clearance. So we shall come and analyze the length, the width. The length is uh, 6,000 plus that 500 plus 4,000, which is 13,500. And the width is, uh, this is 9,000. All right. So if it is 9,000, the width is 9,000. We shall uh, add 400. All right. So if it is 9,000, we add 400. It shall be 9,400. Then, uh, so it is the length and the width. So it shall be 13.9 and 9.4. Then uh, we need to know what is the level that we shall reduce the level. We reduce the level up to the, the where we start to lay the hard core. So what is the depth? from the ground level. So how do we calculate that? We shall take uh, the trench, the depth of the trench. First, we shall calculate everything that is above the, the, the reduced level. We shall take 100 for the concrete, 25 plus the, for the blinding, and 400 for the hard core. The total above, uh, above the reduced level is 525. Then above the ground is 250. From, uh, from the top of the concrete to the ground level is 250. So we need to excavate to 75. Then we shall have already cleared the site of vegetable soil, which is 150 millimeters. So the, re the remaining one that we need to reduce the level is by 125 millimeters. All right, so we shall say excavate in reduced level commencing from strip level average 125 millimeters deep and cut away from the site. All right, then we shall go to site. We remember here we have a, a void. This one we need to deduct it. We have taken this length and the width for site clearance. Now we need to deduct for the void. For the void, mm -hmm, we shall check this is that 500. Remember there is a spread coming this way and another spread coming this way from this wall. It is spread this way 200 and it is spread this way 200. 200 plus 200 is 400. That 500 minus 400 is that you want so the length will be 3.1. The width, you can see from the outside the wall to outside the wall is 3000. So assuming that spread will come uh, 200 more. So it, it, is, it means that if it becomes 200 more, it also needs to go 200 more. So if we deduct 200 from 3000, it shall be 3000 minus 200 plus 200, which shall remain just 3000. So 3.1 and 3, deduct ditto the last two items on void. All right. All right. So thanks a lot for watching that video. If you have any questions, let them in the comment section. We are going to look at them and also to address them as needed. So if you like this video, can you give it a thumbs up? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, kindly subscribe and see you in the next video.